Our objectives in this lesson are the following. Identify the methods of gathering statistical data. Create stem and leaf plot and interpret data in tabular form. Let's have an activity, My Data. Below are the records of Benedetta, Hulkert, and Natalia in their recently concluded experiment on how many pumps before a small balloon pops out. Here is the data of Benedetta, here is for Hulkert, and here is for Natalia. Now let us answer the following questions. Whose data are you going to look if you want to know the result of a particular number of experiment? If we are looking for a particular number of experiment, it would be best to look at Hilkert's data. Because in his data, the experiment number is arranged in ascending order. Number 2. Whose data are you going to look if you want to know the result of the minimum and maximum number of pumps? If we are looking for the minimum and maximum number of pumps, it would be best to look at Natalia's data. Because in her data, the number of pumps are arranged in descending order. It will be easy to look for the minimum and maximum value. Number 3. Whose data are you going to look if you want to know how many balloons pop out in 12 seconds? In this case, Natalia's data is the best option because like what I've said earlier, the number of pumps are arranged in descending order. So the number of pumps are clustered. Here are the number of balloons that pop in 12 seconds. Organizing data is important to easily find out what you are looking for. There are two methods of gathering or collecting data. The first one is direct method. You can do this in two ways. One is true observation. In here, the researcher records the data based on what he or she sees. Let's have examples. Observing the kindergartens as they choose their favorite color. And number two, looking at people as they visit different shops in the trade hall. The next one is true interview. In here, the researcher conducts direct interview. It could be personal, via phone, or online. Let's have examples. This time, instead of observing, you will ask directly the kindergartens on what's their favorite color. Instead of looking, you will interview people on what shop they did visit in the trade hall. Another method is the indirect method. You can also do this in two ways. One is true questionnaire. The researcher uses survey forms to gather data. Examples, conducting research using survey questionnaires, which you are going to do when you reach grade 11. And number two, registration form for applying voters' ID. Another way is through searching. The researcher search data from validated internet sites or published books to gather information. Here are some examples. Number of baptized children from age 1 and below in a particular parish. If you want to gather information regarding this, then you just have to go to the parish office and look for the book that contains this information. Another example, teacher's population in Region 4A. You may look for a validated internet site that contains information regarding this data. Here are different ways of data presentation. We are not going to discuss all of these now. In this lesson, we will discuss the first two, table and stem and leaf plot. A table is a systematic way of arranging data that are presented in rows and columns. Here is an example of a table. A good table should contain a title to tell the viewers what the table is all about. It also has headings on all columns to guide the viewers on what kind of information they can find on each column. Let's have an activity. Based on the table I showed you earlier, let us answer the following. How many continents are there? There are 7. Which continent has the smallest area? Look for the column of area and find which one is the smallest, and that would be Australia or Oceania. Which is the most populous continent? 
look for the column of population and looks what's the biggest population and that would be Asia. Number four, which continent is the second in world population share? Look for the column of world population share and the second one is Africa. And number five, how many people does the third most populous continent have? Look for the population, third most is Europe and the population is 747,636,026 people. Now, let's discuss the stem and leaf plot. There are two things you need to remember here. The stem, which are the leading digits, and the leaf, which are the trailing digits. Let us create a stem and leaf plot of this table. First, we have to indicate the title of the table. Then, we have to create two columns. Label the first one stem and the second one leaf. Now, let us inspect the data in the table. All are two digits. We have three unique numbers for the first digit, 9, 8, and 7. So we're going to write that under the stem, 7, 8, 9. Now let us construct the leaf. First one is 90. The stem is 9, the leaf is 0. So we're going to write 0 in the leaf of the row 9. This is 90. Next one, 85, so the stem is 8, the leaf is 5. Next one, 96, the stem is 9, the leaf is 6, so we're going to add 6 here. Then 77, the stem is 7, the leaf is 7. 88, we're going to add 8 here. 84, we're going to add 4 here. 75, we're going to add 5 here. 92, we're going to add 2 here. 79, we're going to add 9 here. 86, we're going to add 6 here. 93, we're going to add 3 here. 77, we're going to add 7 here. 91, 1. 89, we're going to add 9. 75, let's add 5 here. 84, let's add 4 here. 78, let's add 8 here. 92, let's add 2 here. 89, let's add 9 here. And 76, let's add 6 here. Now, let us answer these questions. How many students are considered in the data? You can count in the original table, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then how many rows? 1, 2, 3, 4. 5 times 4 is 20. Or you can count the number of data in the leaf column. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So there are 20 students. Next, what is the highest grade obtained? So you look for the stem of 9 and look for the highest number in the lift. That would be 6. So the answer is 96. Next one, what is the lowest grade obtained? So in the stem, look for 7, and then look for the lowest number in the lift. That would be 5. So the answer is 75. How many grades are line of 9? So you look for 9 in the stem column and count the number of leaves. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So there are 6 grades that are line of 9. And last one, how many students got 84? Look for 8 in the stem and then count how many 4s are there in the leaf column. 1, 2. So there are 2 students who got 84. Let us do extra challenge. Organize the data of Mr. Luxo on the heights in centimeter of his students and answer the questions. So here is the data. And here are the questions. Let us go through with the questions. How many students are there in all? Who is the tallest among the females? Who is the shortest among the males? What is the height of the third tallest student? And what is the height of the shortest student? The first thing that we have to do here is to separate the data of males and females. Then you have two options. Either you arrange the names alphabetically or you arrange the heights in a particular order, ascending or descending. 
Recalling the questions we have to answer, it would be best to arrange the height in a particular order. I choose to arrange it in ascending order. I'll start with the males. So the shortest among the males is Michael, 158 centimeters. Next is JM, 160. Next is Prince, 164. Next is Efren, 165. June is 167. Same with Donald, also 167. And then we have Jomel, 168. And then Charles, 170. Jonathan, 173. And Israel, 175. For the female, we have Joanne, 149. And then Alice, 152. Then we have Adele, 153. And then Vivian, 155. Noridet, 157. Irene, 158. Janelle, also 158. And Sheila, also 158. Ruth, 160. And Lorraine, 163. Now, let us answer these questions. How many students are there in all? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 plus 10, there are 20 students in all. Who is the tallest among the females? So, let's go for the female. The tallest is Lorraine. And then, who is the shortest among the males? So, let's have males. And the shortest is Michael. What is the height of the third tallest student? The tallest is 175 centimeters, followed by 173, and then 170 centimeters. What is the height of the shortest student? The shortest among the male is Michael, and among female is Joanne, and Joanne is shorter than Michael, so the shortest student measures 149 centimeters. Summary, a table is a systematic way of arranging data presented in rows and columns. A good table should have a title and heading for each column. A stem and leaf plot is a method of organizing data where the leading digits are in the column of the stem and the trailing digits are in the column of the leaf. There are two methods of collecting data, direct method and indirect method. Direct method is through observation and interview, while indirect method is through questionnaire and researches. Now, it is time to check your understanding. Pause this video for more time. Let us answer, construct a stem and leaf plot on the ages in months of Sandoval's pets. So here are the ages in months of Sandoval's pets. Now let us create the stem and leaf plot. So let's have the table. Here is the title, ages in months of Sandoval's pets. And we have two columns, stem and leaf. By inspection, we have one digit and two digits. For one digit, the stem will be zero. For two digits, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Now, let's start. 3 months, so meaning the stem is 0, the leaf is 3. 15, the stem is 1, the leaf is 5. 8, the stem is 0, the leaf is 8. 4, the stem is 0, the leaf is 4. 9, the stem is 0, the leaf is 9. 20, the stem is 2, the leaf is 0. 16, the stem is 1, the leaf is 6. 25, the stem is 2, the leaf is 5. 1, the stem is 0, leaf is 1. 14, the stem is 1, leaf is 4. 39, the stem is 3, leaf is 9. 48, the stem is 4, leaf is 8. 10, the stem is 1, leaf is 0. 28, the stem is 2, leaf is 8. 55, the stem is 5, leaf is 5. 39, the stem is 3, and the leaf is 9. 12, the stem is 1, the leaf is 2. 28, the stem is 2, the leaf is 8. 44, the stem and the leaf are both 4. 
and 50, the stem is 5 and leaf is 0. Gets? Our next lesson is Frequency Distribution Table.